This fragrance is dusty. You don't see those little dust sparkles? Anyways, what's up, car crew? And welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Courtney Janine, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I will be sharing my top five scents for the fall slash winter. I feel like scents are very seasonal. For me, though, I don't really care. Like, no shade, no shade with it. I don't really care. But I feel like in the wintertime, I do tend to gravitate for more scents that just feel warmer. I kind of leave the um, fruit fruity scents because I feel like that's more summery um but honestly if I want to wear a perfume I'm gonna wear it any time of the year okay and that's just me so if you would like to hear my top five scents for the fall slash winter then definitely keep watching or my most complimented fragrances my favorite scents for the fall all of that then definitely keep watching but before we get into it if this is your first time stumbling upon me here on the white tea hey girl hey my name is Courtney Janine on this channel I do all the kind of lifestyle content so I have a I like to talk about fragrances I like to talk about beauty I like to do hauls vlogs the whole nine so if you like lifestyle content then definitely subscribe join the Corker family down below and if you're interested in hair I do have my main channel which is all about hair where I do celebrity recreation synthetic wig reviews human hair wig reviews the list goes on so definitely 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 subscribe over there as well all right you guys so i'm so excited about this video because i recently picked up a new fragrance which is going to be the first fragrance that i talked about today and that is sol de janeiro fragrance after hours y'all this is the new perfume mist from sol de janeiro i missed out on their summer drop they came out with three new fragrances there was an orange one a pink one and a blue one and i absolutely was obsessed with the pink one but by the time I came in store because I am no longer a blind buy fragrance girly. I did that one time with a Kaylali fragrance that I ended up hating so I never looked back so by the time I got in store to like sniff it for myself and I loved it it was sold out so this time around I was able to get my hands on the new fragrance now no shade with it no shade with it this is the best scent from Sol de Janeiro y'all it is so good it reminds me of a fragrance that I cannot put my finger on but it really smells good. It smells so good. So this is Sol de Janeiro After Hours Fragrance. The notes are Midnight Jasmine and Amber Woods but let me pull up Sephora so we can really get into the notes together because this is such a beautiful scent. Now the downside to Sol de Janeiro is that they literally their scents do not last so I need to find something maybe like a perfume oil or something that I can pair with this to make it last longer because this is really a perfume mist it's not really a fragrance so to speak but this is a floral the keynotes are black currant midnight jasmine and amber wood the fragrance description this intoxicating velvety and amber floral fragrance invites you to experience the magnetism of an uninhibited evening dust turns to dawn with hypnotic notes of midnight jasmine black currant and amber woods go wherever the night takes you with this limited edition perfume mist now this the fragrance is so good y'all it's very sweet so if you're not a sweet fragrance girl you might not like it but it's so good to me like I really love it I can really smell the jasmine as well as the amber I feel like the amber is a little bit more present but um, as you guys know fragrance smells different on anyone so what I smell might like you might really smell the black currant while I'm really getting the jasmine and the amber wood so yeah this one is a must and it's new so I really want to get this video out for you guys in case you were wondering about this since this is a go the other Sol de Janeiro I feel like this is number one but after this is the 71 it has hints of like caramel and vanilla more warm so you might like that one as well but this one is so different and I really like this so yeah are right, you guys the next fragrance is a staple for all the girls this is Ariana Grande cloud now this I know she recently came out with the pink cloud and I did go in store like I said y'all I'm no longer a blind buy girly so I went in store to smell it and honestly you guys I feel like it was kind of a calmer version of this and if I want to wear a fragrance I want I don't want to be given spritz I want to be given you know you could smell me when I walk through so I really didn't feel like I needed to get the pink cloud but if you want something a little bit less intense I would say go with pink cloud but let me read the notes to you for Ariana Grande cloud okay so this is a warm and spicy gourmand the base notes are central 
neutral musk creamy blonde woods middle is coconut indulgent praline vanilla orchid and the top is lavender blossom juicy pear and bergamot this you guys is one such a layered scent i feel like it's so intense even though it is a pretty affordable like it's not super duper high end like you can see some fragrances go for 300 dollars, but this is you know a little bit more affordable and i really really like oh my gosh oh my gosh this is kind of getting low no shade but yeah this is such a great fragrance i feel like year round but especially during the fall and winter because it's very like cozy like it's so warm and cozy that i feel like it just gives me a fall time so really really love this fragrance as well the next one is from skylar clean beauty now this is the first fragrance that i tried from their collection but this is a great fragrance to the girls who love vanilla because this one is such a it's just a classic vanilla i feel like vanilla is such a universal scent so if you want to try any of the fragrances out of these i would feel like this is the perfect one that i feel like everyone will love i feel like this is a great beginner fragrance as well especially if you like things like the eos vanilla cashmere lotion or just love vanilla this is the fragrance you want to pick up now let's get into the notes let's get into the notes of this fragrance warm and spicy gourmand the key notes are cappuccino per vanilla caramelized cedar um vanilla sky is the smell of comfort in a super sensual gourmand fragrance rich warm vanilla notes blended with delicious hints of cappuccino caramelized cedar wood lies at the base of the fragrance to give a rich golden warmth that reminds you of stunning golden hour skies like i said i really want stuff that feels cozy warm you know inviting and this is the fragrance for that like i mentioned you guys i feel like a lot of of the girlies love vanilla and i am one of those girlies and if you are similar you will definitely love this because it's so universal i feel like it will probably uh, it will easily become one of your favorites in your collection and you'll probably notice yourself wearing this more than any of your other fragrances because i've noticed that i have a lot of vanilla scented things from body scrubs to a lot of my fenty body cream i have the vanilla one this goes perfectly as like something to lock it all in you know next up has to be my favorite bottle i love this bottle i feel like if i ever come out with my own fragrance which you guys know i do have my own fragrance always talk about this because i feel like it's such a great experience but old factory in new york city is a place where you can make and customize your own fragrance but you know you are able to customize the bottle but just the color of the bottle you know i didn't get to fully customize the bottle and everything like that but if i ever did come out with my own fragrance i feel like i would probably release something that looks like this like the bottle is freaking stunning i really want to get the black version of this billy ellis 2 i believe it is or ellis 2 i feel like i did smell it once and i think it smelled good but i really want it just because of the black body because it's just so beautiful like it's it's perfect for something to just sit on because i just have it sitting here on my little desk and i freaking love it but this is a <sighs> It smells so good. I haven't worn this in a minute, but it's the fall time. Winter time is coming up. This is the perfect scent, and let me tell you why. Okay, so this is a Amber Gourmand. If you don't notice, I love the Gourmands. The base notes are Sleek Woods, Warm Musk, Tonka Beans. Middle is Creamy Vanilla, Soft Spices, Cocoa. The top is Sugar Petals, Mandarin, Warm Berries. Now, I don't get any of the fruity stuff. Really, what I smell is cocoa and vanilla. This just gives warm, cozy vibes, okay? And if you don't get the theme of this video i like warm and cozy during the winter okay so this really is the perfect scent i love it i feel like it's perfect for like the holidays like thanksgiving and oh i'll fast forward in a bit but like you know just those warm cozy nights by the fireplace this is what that gives um and i love the notes of cocoa i get vanilla but again it is something that pairs really well with like my body creams and stuff that have that vanilla vanilla scented body care so um love applying this all right you guys the last scent is literally my favorite scent of all time it is the dolce and gabbana the only one <sighs> this is my favorite scent this will probably be in every single video every single fragrance video i'm gonna find a way to bring this up y'all don't get it y'all don't get it so what i love about this one i love the bottle it's very sleek it gives a fancy but like chic you know this is a floral but the scent type is warm and spicy gourmand the keynotes are violet bergamot coffee iris vanilla 
vanilla patchouli i don't get the coffee i get the bergamot and vanilla a lot like it's so intense and i feel like some people all the other scents that i um talked about are very like i feel like everyone could like them this one though i feel like some people might get this and be like what the heck this is giving grandma but it's not i feel like it, it's intense like it's an intense scent and I love that because I feel like it lasts really long for me actually I heard that you you're not supposed to like spray on your neck anymore because it can um I don't know what they said I think it can change the coloring of your neck or something like that so I'm trying to refrain but then I forget but anyways this oh it smells so good it's kind of like powdery um I definitely get the floral notes a little bit just because it does give gram like it could easily give gram you know what I'm saying I don't think that this is a universal scent like the rest of them I feel like if you like vanilla if you like a little amber vanilla gourmand scent, those are for you. But this one is, I feel like, a little bit more polarizing. But I absolutely love this scent. I feel like it's a signature. It lasts on me so long, which is what I like. I feel like out of all the scents that I talked about today, this one and Cloud probably last the longest. The other ones uh, fade, but I don't mind, like, respraying, you know. But yeah, you guys, this is my, like, signature scent. I love this one. And it's so good for any time of the season but definitely fall and winter because it is very warm cozy spicy a little bit love it are right, you guys those are my top five scents for the fall and winter let me know down below which have you tried in those fragrance what is your go-to fragrance or scent type for the fall and winter and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the crooked family down below and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys Are you